Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we will uh, cover the computation of uh, random forests in our uh, software. And I uh, already imported uh, my data or our data in order to save our uh, time. It's uh, composed of uh, 13 total columns and uh, around uh, 1600 uh, rows. And uh, today we will predict uh, our uh, win quality, and that is, uh, is this normal or is good or it is uh, uh, bad. So we will predict this one on uh, these observations. Then let's check our data structure, and uh, here the test is character, and it must be converted into factor. When you are using random forests for classification, you have to convert uh, that particular parameter into factor, otherwise, I will consider as uh, a regression. Then, uh, in order to convert uh, it, you have to use this as dot uh, factor function. And if you are familiar with this concept, then submit to Arc Studio. Then, let's check. Yeah, so it's, it's factors, it's three levels. The win quality is either categorized as a badge or good or normal. Then the next step is splitting our data into two components, that means into training and test. And the training um, occupies around 80% of our observation and the remaining 20% is for test. Then you can specify set seed because to get the same result with me. So I have to do this one. Then uh, let's create a sample. So here is the sample, the number of rows, the wine, uh, wine means our data, then uh, 0 0.8 means 80% of observation. So do this. Then uh, out of this sample, the wine, uh, and if you do this one, it will, you will get the train uh, data, means uh, contain 80% uh, of observation of the Wayne original data and the remaining 20% will be in the test uh, data. Then you can check the dimension. Yes, the dimension for the train is uh, 1279 uh, rows and 13 columns. If you remember, the, uh, the original one is around uh, 1600, but when it's, when it's split it into training and test, so the train uh, will contain uh, 1,279 observation, and the remaining uh, will be for the test one, which is 320 and 13 uh, columns. So uh, in order to use a random uh, forest uh, function, you have to load or install the random forest uh, package, uh, discard this hashtag sign and install if you haven't. But if you already have, no need to do this. Just uh, call the random forest function by calling the library function. So then submit this one. Then let's uh, create random forest model. In order to create a random forest model, you have, uh, model, you have to use random uh, forest function. And uh, you can assign any name that you want. Then it's followed by and test then test is explained by what as you can see here is the dot sign it means excluding uh, the test all the features or the variables that, that means fixed accessibility volatile acidity city and all these variables will be included so again you have to uh, uh, discard here uh, i discard uh, quality because quality, as you can see, it's uh, I don't want that one because uh, it's not important. Then I use the minus sign in the quality means discard quality. Then uh, so tests will go or explained will uh, will explain up to what up to this point up to up to up to this point. Then um, uh, data you have to specify the data. Our original data is one, but we split it into train and test. 
So uh, data name for creating a model is train, which is contain 80% of uh, total or original observation. Then here is uh, n tree. It is a, a number of uh, uh, decision tree in the forest, and usually uh, or the default method is uh, uh, 500. And um, the reason why we are doing the number of tree is just to stabilize the error. But sometimes people uh, uses uh, greater than 500 or 2,000 blah blah uh, things. Or numbers. This is not uh, good because uh, it, it it creates unnecessary or inefficient uh, uh, inefficient performance, and uh, especially when we have a large uh, data set. But I will show you the tuning the tuning point uh, later. But I used here is uh, one thousand, and here is a MTRI. Uh, I used to call uh, scroll to five, and MTRI means there's a number of uh, features that used as a potential candidate for each split, and the recommended one is uh, three or the default one is three. And again, I will show you later how to tune uh, these things. And the other thing is the importance uh, of, for example. There are a number of uh, features or response variables, so which contribute more for the mean decrease of the accuracy, and again, which uh, contributed more for the mean of uh, uh, mean index. I'll show you later. So you have to say important is equal to true, then submit this to R, then you can get the model in this way. So as you can see, here is the auto bug uh, error. Uh, auto bug estimate of uh, error rate is 13.6, and I use the number of trees 1,000, and the number of variables at each split is uh, five. And the type of random forest classification is uh, that the type of random forest is classification because I changed the test fact, the test uh, character, the test parameter from character into uh, factor. And again, if you are uh, want to see about uh, the attributes, so you can do this and you can get a number of attributes here. For example, if I am interested uh, to look for confusion, so bring here and attach, you can do it this way. Use a dollar sign, then confusion. Yeah, here confusion. Then you can get uh, this uh, result. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, you can do a number of uh, things that uh, you want. For example, from all these uh, attributes, yeah, mean bug, entry, vote, importance whatever you want, you can select and run these things. Then uh, the next step is to check our model accuracy. So the model accuracy, you can get this one. For example, you have to use uh, this the cadet package and let's create model two to predict uh, on the test. Uh, if you remember initially, mm, we used the train data for building of model and the test for what uh, and we will use a test data for uh, predicting so you can assign module 2 then predict the model that means the first one then test so let's create a confusion matrix using confusion matrix function followed by model 2 model 2 is what uh, uh, we did here and you have to select the parameter that means test. So type this and send it to our studio and you'll get this uh, result. Yeah. So there is bad, good, and normal. And uh, uh, here is for bad is zero. Again, for good is 18, uh, correct classification. And for normal is 272 classification. And the remaining here is 11. Uh, again, uh, here also uh, 11 and 8 are their misclassification. And in order to get this point, that means uh, the model accuracy, which is uh, 0 0.9 or 
90.62%, which is good. Uh, in order to get this one, you have to add 272 plus 80, and it is uh, around uh, 290 and divided by uh, 320 because our uh, number of observation for the train test, if your number is 320. So if you divide 290, uh, if you divide uh, 290, let's uh, do here. 290 divided by 320, uh, sorry, will be 0 0.90625, which is the same to this one. Yeah. This one. So it's good even the 95% of confidence in the values range between 0 0.86 and 0 0.93 still is good. And again, here also the uh, Sensitivity class, for example, for the body is almost zero. It's almost zero. And again, for the good is uh, 62, around 0 0.62, and for the normal is 0 0.97. How to get this one? It's obvious it's uh, zero divided by 11. is obvious it is zero. That's why this class uh, became zero. And in order to get this one, the uh, good, which is 0 0.62. So if you divide, um, add this one, it is uh, 29. So divide 18 by, uh, divide 18 to 29. So you will get uh, 0 point, uh, you will get, let's see, divide by 29 is 0 0.62. And again, uh, lastly, for the class, uh, for the normal class, which is 0 0.97, this means uh, if you divide, uh, add together, which is 290. So if you divide 272 divided by 290, it will be uh, 0 0.97. Let's see. Yes. 200. Uh, the number yeah, 280, so 872 divided by 280, yeah, 0 0.97 is similar to this result. So you can uh, further dig for detailed information. Then let's see, or you can also summarize uh, the modular accuracy using this function. Uh, we are expecting around 90% or uh, 0 0.97, 0 0.97. So you can use all this option. Yeah. So it is our model accuracy. Furthermore, if you want to, uh, if you want to see the error rate in the random forest, you have to use the plot function and the model. Immediately, you'll get this result. So, as you can see here, there is a number of trees uh, and the error. So, around zero, that means when the number of trees are around zero or some hundred, there is a sharp rise in the error. But after some point, around 400, the number of trees become similar and flat again, flat and flat. So, this means as a number of, uh, when you increase the number of trees beyond uh, 400 or maybe uh, 300, the error is not uh, decreased. So no need to use uh, 600 or 1000 or 2000 number of uh, trees because it is the error is uh, no longer decreased after this point. So you can go back to your original model and change uh, from what it is to this one. Uh, if you remember, we used around uh, 1000, so we have to change this one into what? Around 400, yes, or maybe let's use a default 500. Then let's go for the uh, M try. So to do that, the M try, uh, you have to go here. Uh, first, you have to call. Uh, you have to call here the tune RF function. Then train means is our original uh, data as this 
subjected to 80% of our observation and the first 12 uh, uh, column, the first actually it is first 11 column and the uh, parameter that we're going to use to test is what? Test, then the number of uh, trees that uh, we used is let's say 1000 yeah, 1000 then the shift factor is equal to 1, improve is equal to 0 0.5, trace is equal to true, then plot is equal to true. Let's see. So, accordingly, uh, it gives three. So, you have to use only three uh, possible number of features as a potential candidate for each split. Then, back to our original data, uh, original modeling, and change it to three. It's become its default. Then, you can uh, run again, and your model accuracy will be increased. And Lastly, let's see uh, the uh, evaluate uh, variable importance. If you remember, um, when we said this model, we specified this one. Now pay attention. Yeah. So we will see which variable is important for the mean decrease of accuracy and for the mean decrease in the uh, gain impurity. So if you want to display in quantity form, you have to use importance in the model. This one. So then, on the basis of this, uh, for example, for the mean decrease accuracy, the highest number is uh, 52. Again, here is alcohol. So, alcohol 52, uh, alcohol and sulfate, which their value is 52, 67, and 52. Then it's followed by here is 44 volatility. So, these three things are very important. Uh, for our prediction or for our model accuracy. And in similar fashion, for the mean decrease in the guinea, the highest number is, is alcohol, and it's followed by here is volatile acidity, and followed by here is sulfates for the mean uh, decrease in the guinea impurity. So you can use this uh, in terms of magnitude, or uh, the simple way is to use what? The, uh, the plot. So in order to get the plot, you have to use a var imp plot, var important, variance importance plot. So this one. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, for the mean decrease accuracy, the highest is alcohol followed by sulfate and followed by total uh, sulfur dioxide. And the list is pH and fixed acidity. Uh, contributes for the mean decrease accuracy. So again, for the mean decrease in the gain impurity, here is alcohol, and followed by volatile acidity and uh, sulfate. So by this way, again, you can check the importance of your response variable that contribute for the mean decrease accuracy and the, for the mean decrease. So this is all about today's uh, uh, tutorial regarding random forest model. I will put both the code and data and description box for your practice.